What's up, Dilio coming to you with another producer vlog. I believe this is producer vlog number number six. So producer vlog number six. No bells and whistles, just me documenting my journey uh, to uh, do something more with this music and be a producer and artist that I want to be. And so this is where I document my journey. And so I know a lot of people won't look at this. That's fine. You know, this is just for those who care about my story, who want to hear my story and hear what I'm doing. So basically, um, I've been doing a lot of studying. I've been watching a lot of videos. I've been listening to a lot of audio books. Um, I've been studying this whole online beat licensing thing, right? Um, I've heard about it for years. I mean, many, many, many years ago, and I never quite took to it. I never quite could get it. Um, yet I, I keep hearing stories of of people who are making a living off of this, like YouTube, you know, and I'm like, really, you know, and I, and I, I come from, I come from the generation between the non-internet and the internet. Like I came from right between. So I was very skeptical about that. And I'm still watching and learning, but I'm studying. Uh, there's a lot of people with courses out and I actually studied on a mentor that taught about that. But unfortunately that combination didn't quite get me to the next level. Um, and, uh, but I keep hearing it and, uh, you know, we kind of go into the wormhole, uh, when you study these videos and you're doing production from an independent level, you're going to run into the busy work speeds. You're going to run into the Curtis Kings and then you, you may have ran into me on there. And so what I'm going to do is just try it again. Like I've tried it like a lot of times and, you know, this is a year of rejection and failures, right? So. I'm just listening to the stories of, of multiple producers who came from really hard times, who uh, really pursued it. I don't know if they had lucky breaks or not, or they just did it for a while and it grew from there. I don't know, but I never really tried it and stuck with it harder. Like I, I, I've i had an air bid for a long time and I've only put like 10 beats on there. I never subscribed to have more than 10 beats on there. And one of the things that I, I listened to in the appendix uh, the prosperous producer is that you need to have about 30 to 50 beats. So, hmm, I never did that before, I, you know. So I'm, I'm trying that. And at the same time with the music licensing, I'm still subscribed to Syn Synchronizer Edge or something like that. Um, and I'm, I am seeing libraries to submit music to, but I still have to have music too. And since one of my stronger suits are the hip hop beat instrumentals and rap instrumentals, I'm going to try and pursue that route. But I think I need to build up a body of work, like a fresh body of work uh, with the intention of not to keep. Because that's another thing that I like to keep <laughs> and make songs for myself. But, uh, you know, this is a, a tense situation where I'm going to try it again from zero. You know, I'm starting from zero. Um, you know, I'm not where I was. And yeah, I put out a lot of good stuff and sounds like I do sound design. I put out that, the chemicals. And I'm very excited about that. I'm putting out more sound packs, but I understand that there's a bigger world to put out sound packs than just YouTube. Um, there's a there's a big world out there. And so I just got all these information, the stories of different producers doing different things. Like I'm opening my mind. I'm opening my heart to hear these stories because forever, like I've just been focused on my own story and just kind of been in this little box. And, you know, and and I've talked, and I, and I talk to people who, for lack of a better word, uh, aren't trying to do this. And so I'm left kind of empty. Not that they want to leave me empty, but they don't, they're not trying to do this. They haven't been through it. So they don't know exactly what to do. Um, but I'll continue to do reviews and stuff like that. It seems like that got a good response on YouTube. So I'm going to do that tutorials. I want to do another remake. So, uh, those are just hard work. Sometimes there's is hard work, but I'm going to do that. And, um, you know, I'm just going to try a lot of things again, too. I'm not in the perfect situation. And this is my belief, and I guess I'll put that out into the atmosphere, that I believe that a lot of these producers who were, that were in bad situations, that they were able to turn their lives around and, and have a little bit more freedom to do what they want to do and to be able to afford to live off of their music. And from this side, it, it feels like such an impossible remote far away thing like i'm around like i know people who live this and they've put it off for them you know and and one of the things 
now that I'm remembering, one of the things I remember is that just because my path doesn't quite look like theirs, um, that it's wrong. And that's not the case. My own path is my own path. Therefore, I have to step direction that I, I you know I have to figure out what's what's mine and for me and I can't reject my journey because it doesn't look like someone else I know who is who has made it who has had great success musically you know and uh, sometimes you can kind of get down on yourself because you don't feel like that you've done things equivalent you know and so I have to focus more on my myself so I'm going to continue to study marketing music and selling music and the careers of other producers who have told their stories with the online beat licensing and getting placements. Um, you know, and what was interesting is like, like I heard stories about major producers who have had platinum records now on platforms where they're leasing beats too. And I'm like, why would they need to do that? Haven't they made so much money? Uh, from the big records that they're known for, for the big records that they get, that they have receipts for, you know, so it's, it's puzzling to me. But if it's a, I guess if they're, if they seen that there's money available, then so be it, you know. Um, so I'm continuing to do that. Actually going to do a live electronic performance where I'm going to do, bring out my hardware and do some live electronic hip hop and techno. Um I'm going to stream it. That's going to be fun. It's kind of experimental. I always wanted to do live hardware performances, and I never had a platform. So I'm going to go to a gamer uh, bar, video game bar, and I'm going to bring my electronics, and I'm going to jam live, you know, and give like a little couple hour set and just see how that feels because I've always wanted to do that and never tried it. And it's going to be completely organic. I'm going to create music on the spot. That's going to be cool. And I'm also meeting and networking with producers and I'm gathering clients for for beats, um, which 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 kind of brings me full circle because there's two people I know right now, and three. Well, the first thing is that I sold my first lease beat online in 2019 a few days ago. Totally surprised me. I was like, "Wow, that's cool." I recorded a guy that came over here, and he bought a track out from one of these sites. And I'm over here recording and mixing. I'm like, man, it should be should be my beat, you know. And then, and that's not the first beat he's bought. And I'm like, shoot, if he's going to record here and he knows me, he knows I do production and we've done full songs together, I should be marketing music to him too as well. So I'm going to do that. Um, you know, and try this online format versus the traditional go to the beat battle, go to the club and network. And like I've been through all that and it's still viable being out there. I, I do believe that's all that, but I do think things are changing. And I have to adapt. And this is one thing I've, I've tried and then I did, I step back, I try. And this has been going on for years. I try, I step back, I try. And can it's really, uh, should I put more than 10 V? Should I pay money to a website? Uh, but now think about it. All the times I bought $60 Xbox 360 games for years that are sitting in a bin right now. You know, I, I, and I love video games. I love to play video games, but I've just thought about all the money I've spent on consoles. And I have never tried this, and this has been around, and people are eating off of this. So I think I should give it a try too. So I'm really trying, so I'm learning how to build visualizers in FL Studio. I already know how to do them. And, and like I said, I, I, I would tiptoe, but I would. So now what I'm trying to do is, is to cook more beats Build this category at 30 to 50 beats and start promoting and pay for promotion. That's scary. You know, we come from not wanting to waste money, but I'm going to try it. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to document what happens to. I'm going to document what happens to. Uh, same thing, I pay for these courses. Same thing, I pay for a membership. Well, I can pay for promote. I can pay for ads. Um you know, and, and start building a list. They talk about have a e build your email list. Okay, now I'm building an email list of people who like pro, who know I do production and want production for me. Um, and this is for placements. I want placements. I want you know, you know, uh, I have a body of work to put in someone's hands. So the time arrive, I want to be able to have that ready. You know, a nice online archive of a bunch of good tracks done by me. So 
I'm doing that. Um, I've also fell into the, the cataclysm known as Splice, where they have a bunch of loops on there. I started a subscription there. If I can, if someone or someone like me, or if, if I could have subscribed to Netflix in the past for entertainment, and I still haven't achieved much income from my music production, then why can't I subscribe to an Airbit service or a Netflix service or a, a Splice service for sounds? You know, and I had this pride thing of being a sound designer, so I only use sounds I design. But I remember a time back when I was in high school making beats and I didn't care. I would go to the music store and spend a lot of my hard earned money on these little sample CDs and make beats with them, you know. And now it's a 2019 version of that. And now I'm back into that fold. So now I'm swimming through many sounds so I can draw inspiration from and to keep my sound fresh and modern because those new pop fresh sounds boil up to the top i get to so it's almost like i'm reading the minds of other people who are working you know and, and learning about that so it's really cool uh, but that's my story um this producer vlog number six um i have a lot of work to do uh my mission is to get a lot of beats on my catalog and to study more and should i have to buy another course to study from someone who's got i'll, I'll get another course i know it's always changing um but I, I think as far as the music licensing and beat leasing, because I, I feel like the licensing and beat, they're, they're, there's some overlap there. I have to try again. And like, I've tried and failed so many times. I don't even know if I could say I failed, but I've tried and then stopped. And then I try again. And here I am trying again. And I believe that this is the last time I try again because I'm not going to let up on this. I believe I can have what other producers have. I don't believe these producers have anything in them that I don't have. And uh, this is my path and this is my journey. I feel overdue, but I'm still gonna go for it. So that's my story. See you on the next producer vlog. All right.